What's up you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. We're picking up chicken. Hi buddy. We're going on a boat. Cole knows how to sail. So we're gonna go hang out on a sailboat while Cole just uh, drives us around the ocean and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know, you stoked we're for that stoked. buddy? We're stoked. We are stoked. Yeah, we're stoked. Boats and hoes. Boat, <laughs> boats and hoes, buddy. Let's go. So we're headed to King Harbor is where it's at. It's over in like Redondo Beach. And so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna launch out. Cole said he bought snacks. Now we're on the road. As you can tell, Chicken has his Red Bull, so let's do this. We're gonna see you guys on the water. Okay guys, so we're here. We're taking out this little guy over here. That one right there, it's got a number 14 on it. What size is this? 24, 25 feet. 25 feet, okay. So that's, that's decent sized. Hold on to this. Is that a trap? I don't think you know the <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, you wanna take over? <laughs> Just push it. Grab this one. Grab yeah. this rod and go straight yeah. Oh, you want me to grab this? Yeah. yeah. There we yeah, go. There you go. Your boat, buddy. Come on. We're officially off, guys. <laughs> we're like sideways right now. Oh, we're going to get way more crooked. Like that, Mike, that's going to get in the water. Really? Whenever we're all like this. <laughs> There's an animal over there. I'm pretty sure that's fucking dead. Oh, he's just dying. Guys, he is not okay. That was intense. We saw a dead seal. I don't know if he's dead. Look, there's another one over there. There's a lot of seals. Yeah, he's dying. He, he just did not look like he was in good shape. He's still over there. Rest in peace, buddy. So guys, we're officially like out of the harbor area. We are on the ocean. Technically, we were on the ocean before, but uh, this is like the ocean. Like, Jaws is underneath us. It's really pretty out here. I mean, as you guys can see, like, look how gorgeous it is. Like, look at that. Look at the whole scenery. Just look at our surroundings. This was honestly really last minute. Like, I don't know, like, we, it was supposed to be me, Cole, and my dad. And then my dad got impatient because I f was asleep till like 11 or 12. And uh, he took off and went to go play golf with my uncle. And so we were like, fuck, who else could go? So we called Chicken. I knew Chicken was at work, but we were like, you know what? We could get him out. So you're out here, bud. And it's a good time. Roll. Look how gorgeous that is. That guy's fishing way out there. Look at him. He's fishing. It's not always about cars, guys. Sometimes you gotta just sit back and enjoy life a little bit. Sit on the ocean, be one with Earth, you know what I mean? Dad, if you're watching this, you missed it. I hope golf was worth it, you miss it. It's not as fun as this, you golf a lot. How often do you get to go on a boat, big guy? I'm mad at you, you left me. This guy left me, dude. He didn't even tell me he was leaving. Hey, he man, left me. if he wouldn't have, I wouldn't be. Hey, that's also true, Dad. You left, you never came back from the store. You were supposed to get milk. That's not true, Dad. <laughs> That's not true. Dude. And now I'm gonna fucking eat some of these crackers and some of that meat right there and some cheese that he's opening up because I am hungry and I have not had breakfast. I'm sailing on an empty stomach. appreciate how beautiful this sunset is. I mean, yeah, this is just insane. The sky is literally pink. I don't know if the camera will do justice on the video, but I'll tell you one thing. The sky is like actually the color pink, which is crazy. I don't, you don't see that often. Like we have cool sunsets in Huntington, but to see it from the water on a boat, like it's a completely different experience. More importantly, we have no wind and we have to get all the way over there and further. We have to get past this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like seriously, once we're back, we're gonna go grab food somewhere, so uh, just stay tuned, guys. So let's put things this way. After we left the boat yesterday, things got really interesting. We ended up running into some problems with Cole Z30. Is this gonna work? <laughs> it was chaos yesterday after we left the boat. For whatever reason, I mean, I don't even know why. People were driving fast, people were doing crazy things. Bottom line, that's the mess right there. We gotta go, though. Okay, so we're here. <laughs> the car's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There is no, there's so much oil. Look at all that, holy fuck. So we got the car here. This is what we're dealing with here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a humongous crack. I'll show you. Right there. Oh, dude. It's just toasted. I'll show you guys all the oil that was left here. Look at this. Oh my God. It goes all the way up the street, all the way back there, all right here. This is his front lip, look at all <laughs> Anyways guys, we got the 30! Oh, job well done boys, job well done. Yes. Okay, so now that we're like, we have the car and we kind of talk about it, there is a series of dips through this neighborhood and 
we were going a little bit faster than we should have been and you know granted we genuinely didn't know that there was dips here and so we hit these dips way too quick and cracked the oil pan <laughs> and uh, it was just a mess from there. We had to leave the car. He had to get a U-Haul, obviously. We're in Newport Beach. We had no idea if people were gonna be like, yo, there's a car leaking oil. Come get it, you know, tow the car. So it was kind of a mission. We were kind of just trying to get the hell out and uh, you know, hopefully nobody like freaked out about it or whatever, but it is what it is. We got the car, that's all that matters to us. That was a mission, guys. We had no idea if the car was gonna be here or not, you know. It's, it's just cool that we have the car. It's cool that everybody's chill, everybody's safe, everybody's good, so mission accomplished, guys. So we made a stop over here at Raw Power Motor Works. This is where Cole gets all his work done. From my understanding, they specialize in Evos, E30s, and like N54s, N55s. And I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff right now, too. Uh, just the stuff that's out here, so you guys can kind of see what Raw Power Motor Works does. You guys should definitely check them out and see the builds they do, because from what he's shown me, perfect example, look at this sitting outside. Look at that. The size of these tires, Look at those are thick. Those are some meaty boys. That right there is all you gotta know. That's fast. That's fast. Holy shit, dude. So they do some crazy builds here, guys. So you guys get the point. Very big on Evos, these guys. This thing's super sick. That thing is really fast. They got all oh, the wagon. Got the Evo MR right there. Look at this wagon, dude. Euro. Holy right fuck. Drive. Wow. A right hand drive euro spec it's a 318 i touring i think okay yeah, yeah. 320 it's, it's a weird euro spec so i don't know if it's a 318 320 323 or yeah, what yeah. it is but it's a euro yeah so you guys get the point raw power motor works is super super rad definitely check them out on instagram if you guys could um they do a lot of cool work this is where cole's building his absolute monster of an e30 it's going to be one of the craziest cars that i'll probably ever set foot in i'm super excited to get ride-alongs and fucking see this thing and i mean it's just going to be nuts the, the stuff these guys do is insane obviously you guys could tell literally three exits right here look at the turbo that'll suck up some birds oh my lord what do you think of that thousand horsepower yeah, for sure nice. it is the next day and we are on our way to keep me out of jail yes Yay. out of jail no guys but seriously when covid first hit i didn't have tags on my car and so i couldn't go to the dmv because dmvs were obviously closed i got pulled over twice both were very very polite officers very cool um, all they said was just get it fixed when you can. Then DMV started opening up and stuff. And so with that, I went, I got some stuff fixed. And what sucks is it took so long because of all this COVID that I literally have to get tags again this month. But I also have to smog the car. Obviously race car is life. So I have parts on there. I'm gonna probably have to put the car back to stock and smog it unless I go another route. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. So it sucks. It's kind of confusing. I know what I'm saying is a little weird, but it does all make sense. And um, we're on our way to California Highway Patrol. All right, guys, so we got it done. We are at the court. This was our last stop. We hit the CHP. They signed us off on both, both uh, citations. And so now we're officially done. The last step is getting tags again. We're wrapping up the vlog here, you guys. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, hit those bell notifications, and as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Later.